Heidi Cruz, uh, Ted Cruz's wife, an investment manager at Goldman Sachs, is going to explain why we should vote for Ted Cruz. After just a little bit of prayer, I, I realized uh, if I were not married to Ted, this would be a campaign that I would be trying to get on because this country is in crisis and this individual has an incredible talent to bring us out of this crisis. We are in a crisis economically, constitutionally, and in terms of our uh, foreign affairs, we are in a crisis. And Ted is a man of faith. He believe, He's a, tr- a believer. Uh, he's a constitutionalist. He has an unparalleled legal career in defending our values. And he's unwavering. He's unflappable. And so when I thought about doing it for our country, it became very clear to me that our family must be in this race. Um, and it also became clear to me that we are at a cultural crossroads in our country. And if we can be in this race to show this country the face of the God that we serve, this Christian God that we serve uh, is the foundation of our country. Our country was built on Judeo-Christian values. We are a nation of freedom of religion. But the God of Christianity is a God of freedom, of individual liberty, of choice, and of consequence. And I think that's something that this country really needs to be reminded of, that Christians are loving people, are non-judgmental people. But there is right and wrong. We have a country of law and order. There are consequences to actions. And we must all live peaceably um, in our own faith under the Constitution. And Ted is uniquely able to deliver on that combination of the law and religion. All right. There's a, there's a lot to unpack here, right? So let's start out first with, let's be fair, are Christians loving people? Well, yeah. I mean, it depends on the person, right? You can't judge an entire religion on one or two people, right? So it depends on the person. And I know some who are very, very loving people, some wonderful people who are Christians. I also know some downright shitty people who also claim to be Christians. So once again, whatever religion you're born into or you uh, practice doesn't determine how nice of a person you're going to be. And Ted Cruz is a pretty good example of that. You see, there's a reason why Mr. Cruz has gotten so much support from people who hate gays. I mean, you know, support from pastors that advocate killing gay people. He's never said, like, no, I'm sorry, dude, I don't agree with you guys. I don't want your support. I don't like your support. I remember Senator Sanders said of people who uh, follow him who might be sexist, right, saying, look, I don't want your support. You never hear Ted Cruz say that about the people who want to kill gay people. Kill them, right? You never hear that. You never hear that. No, he wants their support. He loves their support. Loves it. And here's the other thing, right? In, in, that, uh, in that clip, Heidi Cruz said, quote, We are a nation of freedom of religion, but the God of Christianity is the God of freedom, individual liberty, of choice, and of consequence. While it's true we are a nation of the, with the freedom of religion, however, the Judeo-Christian God is actually an authoritarian. When you look at that, when you look at the, the the teachings of the Bible, it's very authoritarian. I mean, sure, you have a choice, but if you don't choose the right choice, you burn in hellfire for all eternity. That doesn't seem much of a choice. It's like having to choose between Kool-Aid or poison. It's not much of a choice. That also means if you don't have a choice, you don't have individual liberty. And that's the catch. The fundamentalists love that. They're actually eagerly waiting for someone to dominate them, to tell them to bow your head and listen to my authority or the authority uh, that I just happened to say that my God gave me. You can't ask God. No, no, he speaks through me. So you're going to have to listen to me and bow your heads. That's what Ted Cruz wants. That's what these fundamentalist Christians want and fundamentalist Muslims fundamentalists, anyone. They're not for freedom at all. And they talk a big game about freedom. But going back to Ted Cruz, what kind of policies does he, does he support that actually expand freedom? I don't see any. The only freedoms that he supports is the freedom for corporations to make even more money at your expense, to pollute your backyard at your expense. That's nothing to do with personal individual freedom and everything to do with corporate freedom. All while banning gay marriage and abortion. He basically wants to turn America into theocracy. 
a theocracy that resembles Iran. And he's the first one who would tear up the deal on day one, by the way. He wants to be just like Iran. That whole family is drunk to Kool-Aid, man. They actually believe that Ted, Ted Cruz will bring forth the face of God. No, no, no. Let me tell you what. You can keep your God. You can keep your face. You can keep that God, the face of that God hidden. You can keep it. Because I've got no interest in it. 